Welcome to Learning Mole. Today we are going to talk about mental math starters or fun math games that you can play at home or in your classroom. And we're going to look at a game called If This Is The Answer. All too often, I think, in teaching or in situations when we're working with children, we often give the children the questions all the time. And this is actually a really good way of actually getting the children to think about um, the question to actually reverse that situation and actually give them an opportunity to create the question. Um, it's really good for all that mathematical vocabulary and really thinking through the process of how to get to an answer. Um, so it's a really fun one. Again, you don't need anything, just a whiteboard and a whiteboard pen or even a piece of paper, that's it. It can actually be done orally as well, so you don't even need to write it down. I'm obviously writing it down for the purpose of the video, but it doesn't need to be written down. It can be just completely oral. So basically what you're saying to the children, if the answer is 20, what might the question be? It's as simple as that. You will get a massive range. It is perfect for all abilities because you will get the children that maybe struggle a little bit with maths that will be able to tell you that 20 is, the question was 19 add one or 20 plus zero. You will get the children that are more advanced that might be able to introduce an element of multiplication in there. So they might be able to tell you that it's um, four times five. Or you can actually even take it that bit further and say, well, I want you to introduce some brackets in there. I want you to introduce two operations. So the possibilities with this are completely endless. You can also use it for story problems. So you might say, if the answer is 20, what is the problem? And actually get them in pairs or partners or um, just feeding back to you individually, what might the question be? So um, I want, went, want to have a party. Um, five people are coming to my party and I want to give everybody four slices of pizza. How many slices of pizza do I need? The answer is 20. It's a really fun one, and especially with the story problems, you can have so much fun because they can make up silly ones, um, ones that are really um, toned into their interests. Um, and as I say, the possibilities are endless, no resources required, and really gets that mental maths and that math discussion going.